at how large that bow is. So if I'm trying to get these straight, and I put my straight edge down here, it looks like that is the high point, but it's not. That right there is a heavy 16th up. Right here, you can't see with your naked eye, but when you put a straight edge on it, this here is sanded way down. So it dips this way. The frame, face frame's up a 32nd from the box. This face frame is down a 32nd from the box. All these add up when you're trying to get these perfectly level for a granite slab to go on top of it. side needs to go down a little bit.
got it all shimmed up and that's that's what you want to see I think I'm just gonna cut this out. This thing here, this whole thing is just for the dishwasher drain. So I can cut this out, splice this back together, and then drain the dishwasher into the garbage disposal. Everybody will get what they want. <laughs> Leftovers? Oh yeah. How do you turn the lights on in here? There they are. So today was, I don't know, these days I go a little bit slower. Just taking my time. I got all these interior designers going to be checking my workout. So I want to make sure that everything is spot on. Um, before I left, I made sure I vacuumed all the cabinets out vacuumed all the, the floor behind the dishwasher and where the which refrigerator is going I had a talk with the the owner not the wife the wife is the one I usually deal with the guy who pays the bills and I asked him I thought these cabinets were 13,500 because they sent me some paperwork with a basic layout a few months ago he told me all said and done with the design and all those little twirl around things after all the upgrades, $18,500 for those cabinets. And I was just standing there and I didn't have a reaction. And he says, uh, so is that a lot? And I'm like, uh, well, these are really nice cabinets. And I showed him the dovetail joints on the, the drawers. 
and uh, that they're not made of particle board. Because you never want to have a customer that has any sort of remorse. You don't want to upset them at all. Even if their their colors are ugly and they, and they like them, you like them. So I tried to reassure him that he made a, a good investment in very high quality cabinets. Even though once they're hung on the wall, the only thing you see is some basic white cabinets. That's it. I mean, they look the same as the off the shelf white cabinets as you can get or that you can get at Home Depot. When you're in the room just looking at them, once you open the doors and the drawers, that's where you can, you know, see the difference. But uh, we, we talked for like an hour and uh, I just kept thinking, this guy just spent 18500 just on the cabinets. I will lend him my ear. If he wants, wants a bro to talk to, I'm there for you. <laughs> so tomorrow is the end panel. I could have done it today, but I forgot my cut guide and I have a really good saw blade at home. Uh, so I'm going to put the, the peninsula end panel on and all the trim tomorrow. And I'm hoping that only takes me I get three or four hours. Again, I'm taking my time going very slowly, like checking, double checking. That peninsula, I must have checked it for level 50 different times. Crossing things, extending the level to make sure that it, it, it bridges the, the gap for the dishwasher just because I don't want any complaints uh, from these designers I'm not sure if I want to pursue uh, doing future work for them I've been down that road where I work for other people uh, I like working directly for the customer that's how I've how I've been able to do this for so long um, all right I'm gonna finish these sandwiches and get going see you tomorrow